Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us back here at Max Resource Channel. We're sitting here once again with Chief Executive Officer, President, and Director Brett. But first and foremost, Brett, how are you doing today? I'm doing really good. Good, good. Glad to hear it. So there's, there's a big question going on right now about copper, one of the resources you guys are very much targeted and focusing on. So this is coming from Forbes, and they're asking, will the copper deficit derail the renewable revolution? So obviously, copper has a humongous amount of use cases in the current world, and looking into the future, it's going to be one of the main metals used to, to really get this, this green revolution off the ground. So first and foremost, what's going on with this supply crunch? Well, copper, the supply crunch, like Citigroup estimates there's going to be a half a million tons of copper deficit in this year alone. The largest producer in the world is Chile. The copper grades in Chile have reduced a massive 30% over the last 15 years. Copper is the number one metal used in, in that transition to green energy. Give you the example, there's three times as much copper used in an electric vehicle. There's, there's nearly 10 tons of copper used for an offshore windmill. Um, there's going to be no electricity grids for electric vehicles without copper. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. As um, one of the things you had mentioned is that it, it's practically the new oil. Copper is the new oil here. And without finding a way for us to increase this supply, the, the demand is, is just going to be overwhelming. And, and what's that going to do to, you think, the, the price of copper short term? And what's really the solution here? Well, the only solution in the short term is higher copper prices. And it's just the simple demand and supply. Mm -hmm. And we haven't even, we're only transitioning into the, into the green energy revolution. So the, the only solution is copper exploration discoveries. And they have to be of district scale. The majors, the majors, are, there is no major copper discovery. There's only been one by a company called Ivanhoe Mines in the last 20 years. So what has Max got? Max has got the only known copper district, district scale discovery. And that is what's giving Max all the attention. Even though we are early stage, the majors are looking. You know, we, they are contacting us. Now, what our goal is, is to advance this copper discovery as quickly as possible. Every time we advance it, it will attract major interest from majors and mid-tiers around the world. Agreed, agreed. And, and what's interesting is a lot of people don't have eyes on this yet. When it comes to your modern investor, people looking, a lot of people, when it comes to the metals, they've seen gold, but they haven't really grasped this copper problem yet. What do you think it's going to take for people to understand that the copper is one of the biggest issues when it comes to the green revolution? I think there's something that's slowly coming in. It will come in this year. I think a big point of it is when majors take over copper production projects. There was a recent one where Sandfire Minerals took over a copper production project in Spain of all places. So that's what's going to grab the attention. Wonderful. Well, Brett, any last words, anything else you want to add about copper before we go today? Look at Max Resource. What we are doing is we are advancing copper, copper exploration. We've doubled our geological, geological crew. So look us up on our website, www maxresource.com. List, we're listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange under MXR. Wonderful. We'll have a link to the company in the description below. So give it a look. And if you have any questions about the company or any questions about copper, let us know and we'll happily dive into it for you guys. But for now, stay tuned. We'll get you some more news over the wire as soon as it comes in. Brett, thank you so much for your time today. Pleasure. pleasure. Just remember, copper is the new oil.